Crowds gathered at the base of the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial to the tune of traditional African American spirituals, and local leaders laid a wreath at the base of the massive MLK statue. Thousands of people marched through San Antonio, Texas, and in Philadelphia, Senator Bob Casey kicked off a citywide day of service. I come here this morning with gratitude in my heart. King dedicated his life to the fight for equality and was assassinated in 1968. Because I have a dream. His iconic I Have a Dream speech, made from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial now more than 50 years ago, continues to serve as an inspiration. Were it not for Dr. King standing on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, August 28th, 1963, it would have been po impossible to have Barack Obama accepting his party's nomination for president 45 years to the day. Vice President Joe Biden joined civil rights leaders reflecting on King's impact. Dr. King posed a question, the same question we should be asking ourselves now. Where do we go from here? Referencing the fight for immigration reform and efforts to raise the minimum wage, Biden challenged Americans to support efforts he says will help the less fortunate succeed. This year's Martin Luther King Jr. Day is especially significant as we recognize the 50th anniversary of the War on Poverty, a social ill that King fought vigorously to address. In Washington, I'm Danielle Lee, NBC News.